Not a chance. Huh. And why not? She's a famous heartbreaker. Do you know her? No, but I know her brothers. She's gorgeous. Jolly pub by the river. <laughs> this doesn't look like a jolly pub by the river. No, we seem to have lost our way. What a surprise. <laughs> You can't possibly marry him, Diana. He's practically a stranger. Is he stranger than us, do you think? Not much in it? Has he got any money at all? No. It's not as if you don't have other options. What about that Hugh? Didn't he have a castle in Scotland? Mind you, who wants to live in Scotland? Oh, do shut up. She's talking about going to live in Kenya, for God's don't sake. Don't tell me to shut up. Diana? Please stop going round and round and concentrate. This is your future life we're talking about. It's your future happiness. The thing is, I just know this is it. Oh, that's the, the Lima estate. More subtle fragrance, but it hasn't got the depth. Mm. What do you drink? Oh, I drink Nairobi chai, but it's too black for the home market. Oh. We don't usually get wives on these buying trips, Mrs. Cavendish. Oh, well, it's, it's Robin's business. I want to know about it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What is it you actually do out here, Robin? Oh, um, yes, I'm a tea broker. Um, yes, I, um, I collect tea and then I, I broke it and, uh, well, it's very skilled work. <laughs> and what does Diana do while you're broking? Well, she comes along. My God, that's the most indecent. <laughs> I like it, really. God gave men jobs to do so women could have a little time to themselves. <laughs> I like being with Robin. He really is quite bearable. Well, I can't see it myself. <laughs> That's all a complete mystery to me. What Colin means is, how on earth did Robin manage to nab Diana? Ah, oh, yes. Ah. God, we'd all like to know that. Mm. <laughs> yes, I don't 
don't know how, did you, darling? Do you hear that? What? I don't hear a thing. Yes, exactly. It's like the dawn of creation. You need faith to survive out here. Oh, how can you say that, Dawn? And you a doctor. Well, I believe in the power of the mind. <laughs> Did you hear about the prisoners on Comey Island during the Mau Mau Rebellion? There were 60 of them, all crammed into a small tin hut. Prison officer wouldn't let them out. Mama leader said, very well, I give my men permission to die. Next morning, all 60 were dead. How? Mind power. Hmm. They chose to die. They turned their faces to the wall and died. Well, I think I would have chosen to live. Oh, I've got news. Oh, yeah? Yes, it's, it's a bit of a bugger, actually. I'm never going to be able to have fun again. Well, what is it? I'm going to have a baby. Somebody's pleased. Yeah. Very pleased. Best news I ever had. Well, since I proposed and you said yes. Well, you didn't propose though, did you? Didn't I? <laughs> no. You said you had to get married before going out to Africa. <laughs> Otherwise you'd go native. Yeah, that's right. Mm. You did say yes, though, didn't you? Apparently, I did. Robin Thrash and Colin again? No. No? No? Come on, we're going to be late. Ah. Time to break a sweat. Oh God! Here we go. I can't quite believe it. <laughs> uh, I can't quite believe it either. Thank you, Victor. See you at tea. Thank you. Lovely job, Mister. You've been practicing while I haven't been looking. I have. It was the first set I think I've ever had of you in my entire life. Yeah. Come on, there's another one. No, absolutely not. I'm going to quit while I'm still vaguely standing. Oh. God, I tell you what, this feels rather good. Uh, now I know what it's been like to be you all these years. Oh yes, no, it is rather lovely. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. What is going on over here? OK, what are these contraptions? Mary, you are extraordinary. Goodness, Catherine. Oh, Robin will be a natural, will like he? What is this? What are you doing? You just imagine you're jiving. And what's the purpose of this? Just to look foolish? No, turn up the tummy. It's <laughs> rather fantastic. Oh, move your hips, darling. That's it. This is all it is? <laughs> this is, the, is this the point of it? You're just kind of undulating for fun? You don't want a flabby tummy. <laughs> Without anyone else joining. <laughs> just solo undulation. Look at that. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Right. Yeah, that's too much tennis. Right. That's just too much tennis. That's what. Yeah. That's all that is. Well, you, you were rather good. That's your fault. Now the crown jester's going to step in. <laughs> 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 
I need a drink. I'll have another go. Let's have another go. Are you all right? Me? Yes, fine. Oh, What's the plan? Oh, um, I've asked Thomas to run me home because Don's coming round to prod me again. That's good. You may not want to give me a prod while he's at it. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, just a pregnancy, isn't it? Just making my joints ache, that's all. <laughs> oh, poor Robin. My joints are fine. It's funny that. Well, that's because I'm bearing most of the weight yes, in this, are, in this pregnancy. Oh, will you come with me? Oh dear, no. I have my well, I have my meeting tomorrow and first thing in the morning, so I was going mm -hmm. to bunk here. Right arm. Left arm. Legs. I can't move. I can't move. What's going on? Get ice now. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He's losing it. We have to get him on a respirator. <laughs> Robin, <laughs> we have to get oxygen to you somehow. Looks like we're going to have to smash our way in. Is he? He's stable. He's just coming round. Here we The air can't reach the larynx anymore. That's why he can't talk. He says bit of a bugger. You inhale the poliovirus from droplets in the air. Uh, the same way you catch a cold. Passes into the bloodstream, into the central nervous system, and attacks a big group of cells in the spinal cord. The result is you become like a rag doll. Can't move anything from the neck down. Can't even breathe for yourself. Right, and um, how long will he be like this? The paralysis is irreversible. Good respiration system will maintain life for a while. We're talking a matter of months.
Tell me what we can do. Do you want to go home? After the baby's born. What about Robin? Him too. You do know... I've seen enough people paralysed by polio before. The mercy of it is, they don't last long. It's no kind of life, Dinah. I said keep slacking the tubes at all times, okay? Good, very gently. Very gently. Good. Then you get round. Lots of slack. Mrs. Cavendish? Yes. I'm really sorry. This isn't a good time. We've had to medicate your husband, so uh, perhaps you could come back tomorrow. Uh, I don't mind if he's asleep. I'd just, I'd just like to see him. I, I don't think that's a good idea. Your husband is going through a temporary depression. But I'd still like to see him. I'm so sorry. He doesn't want to see you. Excuse me. There we are. Ted, I can manage from now on. It's not fair to ask you to do this. Well, I don't see why not. All right. I looked after you when you were a baby, didn't I? The thing is, we're not very well off, I'm afraid. We've got some savings, but there's not a lot coming in. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Your family's my family, really. 
It's nice to be back. Come on. That's it. Come on, little man. Off we go. Come on. Ma. Moo. Me. Talking to Robin was rather like playing one of those ghastly party games where you don't know the rules. It's very clever of you to get him to say anything at all. Well, what he said was... What he said was, let me die. Well, we can't, can we? You mean we can't even think of such a thing or we wouldn't know how to do it? Both, I suppose. Well, it makes no odds, really. I had a sort of word with the consultant and he wouldn't hear of it. It's not what they do. It's not a good way to go, apparently, in several minutes of agony. No. No, I don't want that. No, of course not. You do have a life, too, you know. You are allowed to think of yourself. Chin up. We're doing very well. <laughs> well, Mrs Cavendish, we do have some progress to report. Progress? We're learning to swallow again. We are? It's more significant than it sounds. At present, we have an inflated cuff round our tracheotomy tube to stop food and drink going down our windpipe. If we can swallow again, the cuff can be removed and the air can get to the larynx. Then we'll be able to talk again. Might there be other progress, too? This is about as good as it's going to get, I'm afraid. How are we this morning? We wish we were dead. Good, good. Good morning to you, Paddy. He couldn't go on having no name. So I decided to call him Jonathan. I hope that's all right. He never even looks at him. He can't bear to even look at him. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I do. I know everything he's thinking. Every time I come here, I hope he'll have changed. Nearly there. But he can't bear to look at his own son. Well An old priest I knew once, a very holy man. He used to say, those that God loves most, he allows to suffer most. We can't know the mind of God, but we can be sure that whatever happens to us is somehow part of his plan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get that. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, well, I'll be on my way. I'm thinking you're not a believer. Believer in what? 
Gods and Jerk. Oh, no, pal. Gods and Joker. Oh. Look at the pigs Mickey. He's made of you and me. Uh, how do you live like this? Ah, uh, he gets used to it. What if I don't? Ooh, there's always a way out. Like Pete there got out. In his own private box. Robin. Leave me here to run now. Well, it wouldn't look very good. And apparently, I love you. You don't love this. You can't love this. Apparently, I can. Well, I don't want you to. Don't you understand that? Makes it harder for me. Yes, I can see that. You'd rather just pack it in. I know. And a bloody machine. And it keeps on breathing for me. So it looks as if you're going to have to stick around for a while, doesn't it? Sorry to say. I'm not sorry. I want Jonathan to know you. And maybe, maybe I can make life a little better for you. Don't want your beauty. Yes, all right. All right. All right. We know all about that. Everything's as bad as it could possibly be. But I can't go on coming in here and have you say that you wish you were dead. Because you're not dead. And that's that. Robin. Robin. Come on, there must be something I can do to make things more bearable. I'm afraid it's out of the question. I'm sorry. Has anyone ever tried? <sighs> no one with your husband's degree of disability anywhere in the world exists outside a hospital. But I've, I've watched what the nurses do. And if we had a ventilator at home, I, I, I just don't see why it wouldn't work. Allow me to explain. Your husband is only alive because a machine is breathing for him. If that machine should fail, in under two minutes, your husband would be dead. Forgive me if I speak plainly. 
Do I make myself clear? I'll be sad to go, of course, after all these years. But since Muriel died, I can't seem to get on top of things. Mm. Things can run away from you, you know. Yes. It's a lot of work. Is the roof sound? Some of it. And why are so many of the windows bricked up? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, those are my rooms. Uh, Muriel said it said, said such a lot on the heating bills. Did she? Well, it's a lot of work, but it might do. The thing is, mm. I haven't got £12,000. Or anywhere near that, really. I'd take 11, or even 10. All I can manage is seven. Seven? Cash. And then you'd be rid of the place forever. And Muriel. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yes. Oh. Yes. Looking good. Good morning, darling. Morning, Margaret. Almost done, Mrs. Cavendish. Is that something I could do? Why not? It's just like a hoover, really. Could I try? Um, here. Just right. Good. Oh, just, oh, no. oh no, sorry. Oh, let, me, let me take it. Now. Once I got used to it, I think I could manage. Why would he want to manage, Mrs. Cavendish? Dr. Carton, Robin and I, we, uh, we wanted to ask you a question, didn't we, Robin? Can machines like that ventilator only work in hospitals? Well, it's just a machine, you know. You plug it in and it goes. Why do you ask? Robin's going to leave the hospital. Do you have any idea of the risks? Yes. Yes, I do. The risk is that he might die. Robin. I either go on living here... ...or leave here and possibly die. Yes. What are we waiting for? Up, up, I thought we were going down. No, lift, lift your end up there so we can get the bed down. Heavy. Uh. Uh. Left, left. I am going left. Sorry, you're right. Diana's bed goes next to it. That's what she wants here. But surely Robin will have a nurse, will he? No nurse. Just Diana. I mean, well, she can't be with him every minute of the day and night. She's got a pain, hasn't she? She's got me. Five pounds says you'll never make it. What do I get if I do? You get five pounds, you dick. You're on. Ready? So 
a long chap. Best so look, Robin. So long, Paddy. I'll be back for my fiver. <laughs> I miss you, pal. Taking my husband home. You don't have my permission. It is a prison. My old prisoner. What do you think you're doing? It is the patient's own wish, sir. He's fully apprised of the risks. Take him back to the ward at once. Diana, call the police. Tell them I'm being held against my will. I, I'm sorry. What did you say? You have no right to, to keep me in this place. Of course. Be my guest. Let's go. Do as you please. You'll be dead in two weeks. Ready? Yes. Right, back going on. How's it coping? So far, so good. Right, ready to move? Lip, lip. Got it. Yes, I think I am. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Can't believe it actually works. Yes, it works. Could you get off? Oh, yes, of course, my dear. So this is it? Our new home? How do you feel? Much better. Diana, what happens if there's a power cut? You work it with a hand pump. It's a nifty bit of kit. <laughs> look who's here. Oh, look. 
There you go. Oh. Look, Jonathan. It's Daddy. Where's Daddy hiding? Where's that? He's in there. Shall we go and find him? What's that naughty Daddy doing? Daddy? Jonathan, Jonathan. Shh, shh. Daddy? Robin? Robin? Robin. Till last. This one spent the whole of the war in oh. my air, air raid shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a good drop, Teddy. No, it is a good drop. A good wine deserves good glasses. This one is for the lovely Diana. Oh, uh, that's me. Mary. Oh, Catherine. Lord. David. You want? No. no. Uh, Nichols. Um, no, darling. And uh, Tid? No, no, not for me. No, no. Tid only drinks to Bonnie. And only on my birthday. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Shh, shh, shh. He's sleeping. To Jonathan. Happy birthday, Jonathan. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, I have been wondering what it might be like to, to get drunk. Huh? <laughs> 
Given that I'm legless already. <laughs> what you have to do with mechanical devices is stress test them, find their breaking point, so... Oh, it's rather good, Ted. It's an interesting experiment, Teddy. Robin would die, but you'd probably be able to improve your machine, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All progress has its price. Um, it's the power supply that's usually the weak link. You know, power can fail. Power frequently fails. Oh, do stop it. No, I'm only hypothesising. Yeah, he's just doing his job. Doesn't have a job. He's an Oxford professor. Mm. There's nothing to worry about, because it can work by hand. Well, what about in the night? Well, I'm here. But you have to sleep sometime. No, she doesn't. She's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Robin needs me, he wakes me, don't you, darling? Oh. Robin makes a noise. <laughs> like a duck. <laughs> That's a chicken, Rob. Can you do a chicken, Robin? I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Hmm. Much rather have a bell or something. <laughs> what can you move? Cover your eyes, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you can move your head. Can I? I've seen you do it. Really? All right. Well, it... So move your head. Oh, yes, I think I can have some fun with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Darling. Bottle. Oh, why not, yes. Why not? But listen. Mm -hmm. You know those Marconi shares that I bought? Justin's hot tear bill. Mm -hmm. They've almost doubled in price. Really? Yeah. Crikey. Well, I hope Justin got something out of it. Oh, yes. Well, he gets a very uh, agreeable sensation of uh, helping someone far less fortunate than himself. Oh. Poor Robin. Paralyzed for life. Oh, <laughs> yes. And his poor wife, I hear she's a saint. She is a saint. A gorgeous saint. Darling, call Teddy Hall, would you? I've just had an idea. Sebastian asked, did he? Uh, after three hours, we think. Isn't this a case where a little mm. certainty would be appropriate? Well, there's a mains lead as well. That is. 
You're a genius. Well, to be honest, it all turned out to be pretty basic. I used a bicycle chain and stir me out to gears. I don't know why no one's done it before. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Hang on, Teddy. Because you're not a doctor. There's no one to tell you it can't be done. Oh, hello, Matron. Hello, Matron. Uh, we've got an appointment with Dr. Khan. Uh, Dr. Khan. Oh, Dr. Khan. Uh, oh, Patty. <laughs> Alan, this really is quite something. Yummy <laughs> bastard. What in God's name is that? <laughs> Did you give permission for this contraption to be brought into my ward? Uh, well, actually, sir, Mr. Gavin... It's hard enough for our patients to accept the conditions of their lives without raising false hopes that can only leave them more dissatisfied. Now, where you come from, it may be common practice to play games with people's lives. Here, it is not. Is that understood? Good. It's lovely to see you, Dr. Whistle. <laughs> Oh, that man's a pompous idiot. You must want to smack him. Believe me, I'm used to it. Uh, you think he'd want to get chairs like this for all his patients? Uh, well, Paddy, looks like you're a mere fiver. Not so quick, pal. You drop off your patients tomorrow. Is it safe, Doctor? I don't know, Paddy. I've never seen anything like this before. It was five miles an hour. With a strong wind behind you. I'd advise waiting a little while longer, test its limits. Yeah, that's quite right. You let me find the breaking point for well, you. No, we're not going to test Robin until he breaks. Well, actually, that's exactly what we're doing. You're doing better than all his other patients, that's what he said. Yeah, poor old Paddy, though. I wish we could somehow break him out, too. It isn't kind to let them out like that. On the street, where everyone can see. Believe me, ladies, my distress is far greater than yours. Blogs told me the other day that all our friends were convinced that I'd give up on you. Apparently, they saw me as some kind of pampered nitwit. Well, you were a pampered nitwit. And was I? Well, it didn't stop you running after me, did it? Oh, no, I've got nothing against nitwits. As long as they're pretty. Well, you're stuck with me now. Well, I suppose I am. Mm. Just think, all those affairs I could have had. And me. Yeah, it's not too late for you. Oh, isn't it? I want to come back and find you popped off while I was out. Oh. That would rather spoil the party, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Hold on. That's Daddy when he was a soldier. Was he a soldier? Yes, he was. And then 
This is us when we were in Africa. That's where you were born. <gasps> and what are those? Elephants. They're elephants. You saw elephants? Yes, we did. You were so lucky. Yes, we were. Can we go to Africa one day, Daddy? Right. I better sort out tea. Can we go to Africa, please, Daddy? Wouldn't that be an adventure? I could push you. Rather long way to push, Jay. I don't mind. pushing business. Mm -hmm. Is it quite hard to do over long distances? Well, it's harder than a pram, I can tell you. Uh, Jonathan, we're going to have to do some thinking about this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. As per your design, Mr. Cavendish. Takes up to 300 pounds. Hydraulic lifting mechanism. You won't see that in the Bedford anywhere else. What do you think? What is it? It's a little dark in the back. I feel rather like luggage is the only thing. I just thought, being as the wheelchair has to be got in, the back seemed... Uh... Yes. Yes. Have you sat in the back? Me? Mm. Well, no, but then I'm not, um... I'm not... Uh... You're not luggage, are you? <sighs> Please don't think I'm not grateful. I truly am. You want to sit in the front? I don't think that's possible, is it? I suppose if I took out the front seat. It's amazing, isn't it? There's nothing there. I feel I can talk to you. Mum! Mum! I'm going into bath. Oh, are you? Brilliant. You go get them. Okay. Good luck, Jonathan. Thanks, Mum. Lucy walked out a month ago now. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. Oh, Rory, I'm so sorry. It's rather rough on you. Life's a shitty business, isn't it? There you are, trying to get on with life. And out of nowhere, crack. Everything comes tumbling down. Oh. 
Rory, grab my drink. Let's have a toast. Uh, what are we drinking to? Hmm? New dawns. New dawns. You made real hash with that ham. Rubbish blocks. You did that. I've done this. <laughs> Beautifully. Do you want it? That yes. Thank you. Look at Robin now. Look at him. Unbelievable. How does he do that? Well, he proposed to me yesterday. Oh, what is it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm so fond of him. The only girl we've got is you, Bloggs. Oh, do shut up. <laughs> but he's no beauty. It's not just the pain. It's... Is he actually ugly? Um, well, yes. <laughs> no, 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 that's wonderful. <laughs> Why is that wonderful? Well, because good-looking men are bow and idle. Ugly men will get things done. Yep, you're right. right. Lost in the darkness and silence. Right. But it it hurts. And I I will get over it. I know I will get over it, but it's just gonna take time. And at the moment, I just need a bit of Did you enjoy that? Oh. You were surrounded by admirers. Yes, as were you. Me? Yeah. Rory Stewart, for one. Oh, Rory. Lucy's really messed him about. Mm. Mm. I feel so sorry for him. He says he spends his evenings alone watching television. I suppose he'd like you to relieve his loneliness. Well, I'm not going to. Okay, if you want to, darling. Oh. You're giving me permission, are you? I do sometimes worry that uh, mm. you don't have enough fun. Um... Oh, don't worry about me. Oh. Mm. I'm all right. I'm sure. Thanks. Uh... We managed, didn't we? It's easy for me. Mm -hmm. I even sit here while you do all the work. <laughs> Good old selfish Robin. Oh, I say, Diana, run away with me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Spain. <laughs> We can't. Robin. Oh. Robin. Oh, you really mean it, don't you? No, how on earth do we go to Spain? Well, by a plane, of course. Darling, how do we get you on the plane?
Come on, then, you stop. I spy with my little eye. The house is on the beach, and I bought our long extension lead, so in theory, you can stay out all day if you like. Oh. Uh, did you remember to pack my Dance parasol? Laundry. Yes, darling. And I also bought mics of sun cream. You're just an angel, aren't you? No. <laughs> darling, we should uh, charge the chair battery. Oh, good idea. Uh, blogs? Yes. Uh, can you see a, a cable down there on the floor? Sorry, I can't take my eyes off the road. Yes, I can. London. Um, there's a plug board on the side of the wheelchair. Can you plug that into the second socket for me? Uh, yes, I see it. Second socket. Second socket. Yeah. Ah! Oh, God. Sorry. No! Something... Oh! I don't know. It's the I don't ventilator. Know. I don't know. Morning! Oh, no, no, what's happened to the rest? I don't know. Morning! Morning! I don't know. I'm really sorry. Jonathan, are you all right? I'm stopping, yes. I'm stopping, I'm stopping. <coughs> Robin, the the bag. Jonathan, are you all right? Yes, Mum. Sorry, Robin. Oh, God, I knew something like this would happen. I just knew it. What's his idea? I don't know. The ventilator's oh. broken. Robin, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. <coughs> Know how to fix it. No. No, I don't. Sorry, Diana, I just don't know what I did. Neither do I. Buenos días, señorita. Señores, ¿necesitan ayuda? Uh, uh, do you speak English? No mucho. Un poco. Ya salite. We need a mechanic. No, no, we don't. No, no. We, what we need is a telephone. A, um, a telephone. Ah, sí, teléfono. Yes. Torre de Embarra es el pueblo más cercano. ¿La llevo? Ah. Uh... I take for you to Torre de Embarra to find for telephone. Yes. It's yes. okay? Yes, yes, yes. Jonathan, can you get my handbag, darling? Thank you, yes. Vale, vámonos. Yes, yes. Right, fast, 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 fast. It's rather fast. You don't have to go so fast. Sorry. Don't do it so fast. I'm not a balloon. Bloggs. Yeah. Can you go with this man, find a telephone and call Teddy Hall? Uh -huh. He'll either be at home or at the workshop. And that's just the little more number. In England? Yes, yes. Just tell him what's happened and that we'll wait for him here. Yeah. And um, we'll wait for him to fly out from England. Yeah, yes. Could you just go, please? Yeah. Bloggs, um, this is why you're out, brother. Uh, Pick up some sausage, a nice bit of bread, and a bottle of red wine. Corkscrew. Good luck. Hola. I'm not saying it. Como esta, señor? Good gracias. I hope you can hear me. Sorry. Temperature. Reminds me of uh, Nairobi. <laughs> you all right there, Jonathan? Yes, I'm fine. It's quite easy, really. Oh. You really are doing brilliantly, darling. Truly. You really are. I'll take over in a moment. Okay. Really. What does he think we're doing? Why? We've just gone on holiday and a lay-by is perfectly normal. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Al Dios Todopoderoso le gusta bromear con nosotros. Pero sus bromas siempre tienen alguna razón. He say God makes a joke. El sufrimiento de este pobre hombre nos une en celebración. 
So we have party. Sí, sí. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's quite right, isn't it? Por la vida. the decency to be on the point of death. Uh, what? What the hell is this? Uh, there. Now, let's fire her up. Yeah! Oh, I'm glad someone's happy. <laughs> God knows how you managed to make such a balls up of this. My fault, I'm afraid. Yeah. And what are you all doing gallivanting in Spain in the first place? Well, this isn't built for transcontinental voyages. I know, Ted, yeah. I'm sorry. I wanted to see the sunrise over the Met. <laughs> it rises over Drayton St. Leonard's too, you know. <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> Actually, rather good you're here. I'm planning an even greater escape. <laughs> well, I'm not rescuing you from anywhere else. Uh, it's not just me this time. There's a good few more that need rescuing. Let's get this show on the road. Is that chair breathing like a seeping lion? Glorious. Is that Dr. Clement Aiken? The same. Ah, very good, very good. Ah, Teddy. Ah, my... uh, hello. This is Teddy Hall. <laughs> oh. Dear, dear, dear. I have never in all my career seen anything like this. <laughs> you just made this up. Well, pretty much, yes. Only way to get anything done. <laughs> I like this man. Is, is he a doctor? Yes, <laughs> and he's the director of the Disability Research Foundation. Which he invented. Yes, and made himself director. Well, if nobody else will do it, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> Hello. What's this? Oh, I'm having a go at a Mark II version. The trouble with the Mark I is the, uh, is the battery is pretty poor and the... And the pump's very noisy, so I'm having a go at using a solenoid. Fascinating. So what is the battery life? On the Mark II, about six hours. How long have you been living with this condition? Uh, Eleven years so far. Incredible. Well, if these chairs of yours really work, I'm going to need a lot of them. How many? Hundreds. Oh, well, <laughs> I've been financing the work myself up to now. It hasn't sent me back too much, but if we're to go into production, we'll need proper funding. The department has to take into consideration the question of cost-effectiveness. The life expectancy of polio patients is less than average, shall we say. I'm sorry, I can't see how I can, in all fairness, make a case for funding. I have to follow the rules. Uh, yeah. Rules are so paralyzing, aren't they? <clears throat> of course, I do sympathise with your condition. Oh, yes, likewise. Name? Uh, Lady Jane Neville. In good for? Uh, a thousand, at least, if uh, she's in the mood. Right, so are we... 
plucky or pitiful? I think definitely plucky. These are these old dowagers are tough as nails. Why does it make that funny noise? Uh, well, that's the wheelchair. It does his breathing for him. Are you quite sure it's safe for you to be out? Seems to have worked so far. And what exactly is it you want from me? Well, we want more of these chairs. Yes, for people like Robin. Two hundred pounds a chair. Yes, which really is excellent value, isn't it? Well, it'd be five for a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Well, ten for two thousand pounds. Two thousand pounds? You see, we knew we could count on you. Because you're so generous. No. Yeah. I don't usually find it difficult to say no to spongers. But with you there, wheezing away in front of me, I suppose I shall have to pay up. So very kind of you. So very kind so of you. It's bloody marvellous. Ah. You feel safe? I feel bloody terrified. Ah. My name is Dr. Clement Aitken. I'm the director of the Disability Research Foundation. In this country, there are hundreds of severely disabled patients currently living their entire lives in hospital beds. Worldwide, there are thousands. Do you think they like that? If you want to get out, give me a shout! How many thousands worldwide? Oh, tens of thousands, maybe more. No one's ever believed it's possible to live as you do. Well, we should show them. What do you want now, Robin, a world tour? Well, there is a European conference coming up in Germany for severely disabled living. All the so-called key experts will be there. Oh, my giddy aunt, if only they could see you. I think he should be in hospital. No? You're quite right. No. <laughs> you did check me how to fit the wheelchair in, didn't you, Bob? Yes, of course I did. What did you take me for? Thank God for that. I know. Yeah. I never thought we'd actually make it. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's probably my fault. Just, um, let's pull out. That's it. Straight, 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 oh, straight, 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 I think we're going to struggle here. Sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to measure the doors. Uh, it's the wheels that are the problem. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, uh, yeah. listen, listen. What? We're going to have to take the inner door frame off. Oh, well done, Clem. Clem's done it, Clem's done it. Oh, 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 oh. Clem's bloody done it. Clem, that is looking good. Sorry. Oh. Brilliant. Uh, wir haben einen Termin mit dem Direktor Dr. Langdorf. Ja, alles gut. I want you to see this, Robin. Let me go in first. You may give them something of a shock. Dr. Aitken? Yes. It's an honour. Eric Langdorf, I'm the director. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, my associates. I have heard so much about your care for the severely disabled. This hospital is famous. Please. Such 
excellent modern machinery. And everything's so clean. So leid, Herr Direktor, ich habe Ihnen gesagt, dass Sie gehen müssen. Wenn er hier auf unserem Gelände sterben würde, dann sterben hier? Um Gottes Willen, nein, er muss weg. Er muss sofort raus hier. Sorry, but he must leave. Uh, of course, how stupid of me. Please understand, we are a department of the Bundesministerium des Innern. If anything were to happen... The Ministry of the Interior? Yes. Like our home office? Yes. Don't they run the prisons too? I believe so, yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Langdorf, for giving us so much of your time. May I begin by noting an interesting fact? At this conference on managing the lives of the severely disabled, there are no disabled people present. <laughs> Dr. Aiken, uh, forgive me, but uh, the, the severely disabled are on life support machines, so how could they be present? <laughs> uh, well, allow me to introduce um, Mr. Robin Cavendish. Uh, Robin, um, uh, you have a question to ask our hosts. Yes, I do. Why do you keep your disabled people in prisons? In prisons? No, no. We have some of the finest facilities in the world for the severely disabled. Oh, I know, but they're run by prison guards. Nah, not at all. Well, patients are kept out of sight. Not treated as part of healthy society. I must ask that you withdraw that. Uh, Mr. Cavendish doesn't mean to cause offence. He's merely suggesting that the severely disabled can be better integrated into society. Absolutely. I can see that you all care very deeply about your disabled people. Yes. I see that. But let me ask you, when you look at me, what is it that you see? Do you see a creature that's barely alive? Or do you see a man that's escaped the confines of, of the hospital walls? Now, I have a machine under this very seat, and it breathes for me. And at home, I have a ventilator right by my bed. I also have a remarkable group of friends. And most vitally, I have my wife. But as you see, I can do nothing for myself. And yet here I am. Now, when I first became paralyzed, I wanted to die. Yeah, I wanted to die, I did. 
but my wife wouldn't let me. She told me I had to live to see our son grow up. So I went on living, because she told me to. Because of her, really. And with her, and for her. And every day since then, I've accepted the risk of dying. Because I don't want to just survive. I want to truly live. So I implore you, you go back to your hospitals and you tell your disabled patients that they too can truly live. You all have this power to open the gates and set them free. Turn him on his side. That's it. All right, done. All right, done. All right. All right. All right. I'm afraid this is what happens after a number of years on a respirator. The lining of the lungs becomes irritated. You get small abrasions, you get bleeding. But the fact is, it's, it's going to get worse. More bleeds, bigger bleeds, and... Well, the risk is you drown in your own blood. Yes. Uh, the leader said, I give my men permission to die. And then by morning, they just 
just all passed away. I've decided it's time for me to. I'm going to let myself go. And what about me? I'm going to be free at last. No. No. God, you're a stupid, stupid man. What do you think I've been doing all these years? Hmm? Your life is my life. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Jonathan. Let her be. Fine, have it your way. You always do. But don't you ever, ever say that you did it for me. You do know that it's against the law. Well, yes, but who's going to know? Well, if Diana or Jonathan were to get involved, you could end up in prison. They're not going to be involved. What about you? Ah, me. I've been breaking the rules my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Promise me you know what you're asking. Oh, yes, I know what I'm asking. We must buck him up. He'll get him out of this morbid frame of mind. Make him see how much his friends need him. Colin, you're not going to keep Robin alive for the sake of his friends. Telling everyone this is leaving party. What, what even the girls? Trevor. What's the sound? Planning another great escape. Uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Just like the last time. Huh? Not waiting for your friends. You're oh. too slow for me, buddy. <laughs> you owe me five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, this is a Saint Emilion 59. My last bottle of one of the greatest wines ever made. Jonathan, glasses? Hmm? Oh, Tada. <laughs> Robin. Hara. Now we've been friends for many, many years. Uh. I'd just like to say. Oh, 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 oh. Harry. Harry. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh,
Um, Hello, Robin. That's time. Ah, all right. When? Today. Nah. I'll be with you at eleven thirty. Uh, that's like a military old man. You can count on me. Synchronized watches. I'll be there. Uh, thank you, Claire. See you soon. Jonathan. Jonathan. You post the lesson very, very carefully. Just before 11.30, you have to leave the house. And then you want to come back. At 12 o'clock on the bus. Promise me I'll have time to say goodbye. Yes, it'll be time. Hello, I haven't seen you in a while. So, what can I get you all today? I'm fine, thanks. Mum? I love you. Oh, I I don't have a farewell speech. You don't mind, do you? You've given me a wonderful life. It wasn't quite what you expected.
to give to you and to give to me love forever true love forever true
And we'll raise our glasses to the day. A couple of clowns.